Ready? Go. Let's cut it. Milwaukee's cutting out again. This is YouTube gold right here, just to let you guys know. Today, what we are gonna do is we are gonna do a versus video between the Milwaukee and the DeWalt again. Now, we are gonna see if a DeWalt can redeem itself with the new 8 amp hour with the 21700 cells that comes with the power detect uh, kit. The last time I did this at DeWalt, uh, I'm not, I, I gotta relook at the footage to see if DeWalt got its butt kicked, but I believe with this battery, it might actually compete with the, the Milwaukee. Now we are gonna use the eight amp hour high output on the Milwaukee, and we're gonna use the eight amp hour with the 2100 cells with the DeWalt. So let's go through the specs of these really quick and let's uh, let's get to it. All right, so the Milwaukee is model number 2853-20, uh, two speed, uh, three speed set, oh sorry, four speed settings plus uh, screw, speed three, speed two, then speed one. This only gives the, the, the max specs, so this goes up to 4,300 impacts per minute and 3,600 RPM. Like I said uh, in a lot of videos, this is the most powerful impact driver on the market with the quarter-inch hex impact, quarter uh, with the quarter-inch hex anvil, and yeah, so like I'm hoping that DeWalt can compete with this because one thing I like seeing, uh, I like seeing a tool that was absolutely, that dominates, I want to see the dominating tool be dominated. Just like the, the Hilti, just like the Hilti hammer drill kept on winning, I am glad to see the Hilti finally lost to the DeWalt uh, power detect drill, hammer drill. So I'm, I'm hoping the DeWalt can redeem itself and beat this in this episode. All right, so the model number for this is DCF887, quarter inch hex impact, 20 volt system. Uh, this goes to zero to 1000. RPMs on speed one, zero to 2,800 RPMs on speed two, and zero, zero to 3,250 RPMs on speed three. And this is 3,800 impacts per minute. So, yeah, when it comes to the specs, the Milwaukee completely dominates. Well, let's see what these can do. And I did get new uh, half inch to a quarter inch hex adapters. Uh, we are gonna try Husky next. Let's see how long Husky lasts. I will mark today's date in the description. I also did get Makita, XPS again, I got Milwaukee. I'm gonna get Ryobi. I'm trying to find DeWalt, but I want the original Makita one with the diamond shaped head. They don't sell that at my, at, at the my Home Depot anymore, so I'm trying to find it. All right, we already know the collets both are pushing. See, I don't like how far that is, that's bad. I don't like the how long that is. Remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. These Tech Life Impact Rated sockets are actually really good. I use the crap out of this. Uh, I use this for like the past like, I'd say six months or more. And the inside of it is still brand new. Like no chips, no nothing, no wear down. It's seriously, these are seriously good sockets. We're not gonna mess around too much. We are not gonna do timber locks. We're only gonna do lags in this video. I don't, do not want this to be a long, a super long video. So we're not, we're gonna cut out the, the, the BS. So actually we're not gonna do four inch. We'll just do, we'll do six inch, eight inch, then 10 inch. And we'll see how this does with the, these batteries at 10 inch. And the battery is full, 100% full. I made sure of it. All right, so we are gonna do these two right here. All right, so, oh, and it is on, and one thing I'm gonna say is, last, in a previous video, people were commenting left and right that it was not on speed three. Yes, it was, it's on speed three. Okay, that's one, screw, two, then three. It's on speed three. All right, so, ready, go.
that's where that pretty much stops. That's where it's skipping and it'll take forever for that to go down. All right, so it might be, I do need new logs, 100%. Put this next to it, that should be good. All right, so ready, go. That's where it's skipping. That's where it's majorly. All right, so continue. It put it in. All right, let's give the DeWalt one more shot to see if it could uh, put that in there. All right, so ready, go. No, that's majorly struggling, majorly. All right, let's see if the Milwaukee could finish uh, DeWalt's. All right, so ready, go. That's a, that's a tough one. Time, 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 time. All right, DeWalt is going to take out Milwaukee's, and Milwaukee is going to take out DeWalt's. All right, so ready, go. Time. All right, so. All right, so ready. Go. Time. Alrighty, so we are gonna do, we're gonna skip the eight inch. Those were six inches. We are gonna do a ten inch in the middle. Ready? Go. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, it is Milwaukee's turn. Oh, my bad, battery is still full. Never showed you guys that. All right, right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Time. They both did it. They both both put 10 inches. They both put the 10 inches in. Now the reason why now the reason why I do this right next to each other because just like here, the dense if the uh, wood is dense, it's it'll be in the same area. So if I do a 10 inch here and a 10 inch over here, that'll be a completely wrong test to do. So when I do logs, I do them right next to each other because it's the same amount of wood, but I also leave a good enough distance to where the compressed wood is not pushing this way or 360 to make the other uh, area dense for the next uh, lag. You know what? No, DeWalt's going to take out DeWalt's and Milwaukee's going to take out the Milwaukee's this time. All right, so this was, yeah, this was DeWalt's. All right, battery is still full. Speed three. 
All right, so ready, go. All right, that's not moving. All right, before we continue, let's see if Milwaukee could take that out. All right, so ready, go. Let's cut it. Milwaukee's cutting out again. Nope. Milwaukee is cutting out. All right, so let's see if... See? And if this is... You know, so like for the, this is for the few people that said well, last time I did this, I whipped this out. That said, the the Milwaukee quarter inch hex impact driver could beat Dewalt's mid range half inch impact wrench. This is the reason why, if I did a video against these two, that this would lose because Milwaukee is failing to take this out. And like I said in a previous uh, previous video. The anvil, the anvil does not determine what the, what, if this is an impact wrench or an impact driver. The motor is what determines that this is an impact wrench or, or an impact driver. Let's use this. Uh, this is model number D, uh, DCF890. Need my adapter. I got a, the Husky three uh, quarter inch to three eighths to a, a half inch adapter with a, a, a flex fold battery, not the 21700 cell battery. All right, so ready, go. Wait, do I have this? Right. So we're gonna take these out. You know what, I want to give, since the motor's relaxed a little bit, I want to give these one last chance. I want to give these one last chance to see if they could take them out. Will you do the Milwaukee first? There we go. All right, so ready, go. Nope, motor's cutting out. The DeWalt. Nope, not moving. Not moving. All right, so ready, go. Nope, both of them failed. All right, so let's use the impact wrench and this is gonna take it out like nothing. You know what? And since I got it, I got it right here with a six amp hour battery. Now this is an old model Ryobi. Uh, I do want I do want them to make a brushed a brushless version. All right, so ready, go. Time, time, time. All right, so obviously, obviously the, the 10 inch lag was too much for these two to handle in this situation. Now that's not always the case. Sometimes they are able to take them out, but in this case, you cannot. So like I said, an impact wrench is more powerful in reverse and uh, impact driver is more powerful in forward. It's not the anvil that makes it an impact driver or an impact wrench. It's the motor. You know, let's do a quick temperature reading on these really quick. 97, 103, 104. The Milwaukee's at 104. DeWalt's at 112. I do not know what the results are. We find out what the results are during the editing of the video. But the, the, the results are there. Please don't hate me for them. 
This was a perfectly even matched test because 21,700 cells, 21,700 cells, and yes. So like, uh, like I always thought Milwaukee, uh, I honestly think the Milwaukee won, but I do not know uh, because the Milwaukee does make the best impact uh, driver around. And now I think the DeWalt makes the best hammer drill because the power detect. So the power detect, this thing's a beast. Uh, this beat the Hilti. So there's more tests coming. This is, the, oh, like I said a while ago, this is only the beginning of the channel. I still have a bunch of videos that I haven't done yet. Please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.